And this is the story behind Eli's condition. On 22nd December, on 23rd December, then on 24th December. Christmas Day, Lars went to church as usual. 26 December is the Boxing Day, Eli is resting. 27 December, Eli started to present nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and had six rounds to the washroom. On 28 December, Eli presents more nausea, more vomiting, more abdominal pain, more loose motions. 29th December, he can't hold anything. He's dizzy and thirsty and very weak. On 30th December, Eli is saving hospital visits. Some lab tests are done and uh, the food poisoning diagnosis is made and the treatment is initiated. Food poisoning is any illness resulting from contamination of food by pathogenic germs such as bacteria, viruses, parasites, as well as plants or their toxins. A toxin is naturally occurring organic poison produced by metabolic activities of living cells or organism. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention report that between 2000 and 2007, there were 47.8 foodborne illnesses per year in the U.S., causing more than 3,000 deaths every year. Cases were caused by 31 known species of bacteria, viruses, and parasites. But there are hundreds of germs that can cause foodborne illness. The most common cause of foodborne illness is virus, Salmonella, Clostridium perfringens, and Campylobacter. The causes of death due to foodborne illness include, but not only, Salmonella, Toxoplasma, Listeria, and Ovirus. It is important to mention that different germs food causing slightly different symptoms after different incubation periods. The incubation period is the time between when you get contaminated and the time when you start to present symptoms. Most common symptoms of food poisoning are vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and sometimes fever. Based on the main symptoms and their nature, it is possible to identify the most likely cause of the foodborne disease. This is called the symptomatic approach on food poisoning. This approach is usually very helpful in low resource settings. Number one, if the main symptom is vomiting, the first causative agent is most likely Staphylococcus aureus. And symptoms start six hours after toxin ingestion and, and last about two or three days. And in children, the most common cause of vomiting caused by food poisoning is norovirus, which is however listed as the most common cause of food poisoning according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Number two, if the main symptom is watery diarrhea, the most common cause is Clostridium perfringens. Clostridium perfringens is known to have so many toxin or organic poison. It has been at least known for 12 toxins which can cause various diseases such as food poisoning, of course, gas cream, shock syndrome, and hemolysis. The second cause of food poisoning related to watery diarrhea are enteric viruses. In this, watery diarrhea is minor and self-limiting. Number three, if the main symptoms is bloody diarrhea, the most probable cause is salmonella or shigella. Eating uncooked meat and eggs 
is the most form of contracting salmonella. The second cause of bloody diarrhea is Candylobacter. And the third but least common cause being E. coli. If the vast majority of food poisoning worldwide occur as individual cases, in countries where people frequently eat outside the home, food poisoning usually appear as outbreaks. An outbreak is defined as occurring when two or more people experience similar illness after consuming food from a common source. Complications of food poisoning are dehydration, anemia, sepsis, shock, and death. If you have food poisoning, rest as much as you can. Drink plenty of fluid. Also eat small portions of food if you are able to. Speak to your doctor if you have the following symptoms. You get sicker despite the previous measures. You can't hold any food or drink. You have blood in the vomiting, you have blood in the rear, or any loose motion for more than two days. You present high grade fever with a temperature higher than 38.5 degrees Celsius. You feel dizzy, you have dry mouth and too much thirst. You are not urinating as well as usual. The four letters mean you have dehydration. The seven following are steps to prevent food poisoning. Number one, at the time of shopping, separate raw meat, poultry from other food stuff. Number two, clean your hands before, during, and after food preparation and before you eat, even if you are using spoons and forks. Number three, clean your work surfaces during food preparation. Germs that cause food poisoning can survive in many places around the kitchen, cutting boards, and count the tops. Number four, cook food at a right internal temperature to kill germs. If possible, use a food thermometer. The right temperature is the temperature above 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Number five, chill unused food as soon as possible. Number six, if you are eating out, make sure hot food is served really hot and cold food is served really cold. Use leftover as soon as possible, otherwise refrigerate them quickly below 4.4 degrees Celsius, which is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. In summary, germs that cause food poisoning tend to develop in the temperature between 40 degrees Fahrenheit and 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 4.4 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius. This is called the danger zone. To prevent food poisoning, food must be cooked at the temperature above 60 degrees Celsius or refrigerated or chilled below 4.4 degrees Celsius. Other measures to prevent food poisoning are when shopping and storing food, separating raw meats and poultry from other food stuff, and washing hands and work surfaces before, during, and after food preparation and eating, even if you are using spoons and forks. I am Dr. Eric. This channel aims to deliver information that promotes health and holistic wellness as well as lifestyle safety tips. Wow! All information provided on this channel is tied to comprehensive holistic health educational purposes. If not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe now and hit the notification. Also remember to like and share our content with friends and colleagues. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video on food poisoning. We recommend you to watch our previous video on 10 tips for a healthy Christmas and new season and see you in our next episode soon happy new year i will not stop no i'm never second guessing i got a god complex haters love to hate but i never feel pressed got a lot on my plate but i never get stressed i'll take all the pressure like i'm in this test oh tear it up like i'm jason i see the world like it's ready for the taking i see this place like a game i'm playing straight to the bank to collect my payments no negotiations, it's my way, I was born impatient And like a damn Freemason, I'll run this nation Call me a